Hello my soccer universe. As you can see I'm coming to you today from a hotel room in Bulgaria and while I was very well prepared in with the set of jerseys I chose of course the winning jersey for Spain and I had an England jersey in the luggage as well. I totally forgot to bring a microphone and a nice stand to actually record so I'm having this on my lap. Please bear with me. Uh, it's also a little bit um, more difficult to talk about this final because while we were, while the final was being played, I was actually traveling, but I caught up quite some not watching the final. I just saw a few highlights, but I heard so many podcasts and I read quite a few stuff that I think I can talk with a little bit of authority, especially seeing the goal was important as well. So yeah take it for what it is. I wanted to record a final video because it doesn't feel right to have recorded so many videos and done not get it done. Uh, but first of again to this jersey, uh, as you know I bought this not too long ago for, at a local mall for 25 and then Spain win the Nations League wearing this one and now the Spanish women win the World Cup with this one. So a rather good buy, I gotta, gotta say, yes, the men did not do well at their World Cup, but I think it's a very historic jersey already. Of course, the women don't have it with a star, but now it actually would work as well for that. So, pretty cool stuff, I guess. I'm very pleased with this buy. Uh, but before we go into the final, very quickly, Sweden took third place, beating Australia 2-0. In a way, I expected it, because Australia, I mean... They really put in hard performances, but after not beating England, I think they could not really get up. And it's usually when a host nation comes in a third place match up, then the pressure is too big. I expected Sweden to win that one, and so they did. But this should not deter the Matildas because uh, they had a really uh, outstanding tournament with some really good wins in there, most notably the one against France on penalties and probably the most epic penalty shootout of this World Cup. And yes, it was not as dramatic to finish it, but everything else was rather, rather dramatic mm -hmm. right there. Uh, okay, as for the final, everything that I read, saw and, and so on, it was all Spain. It was all Spain all over. England just could not get it done uh, or could not break down uh, the Spanish. Yes, they had an early chance where they hit the crossbar, but as soon as Spain got their ball rolling, um, they dominated possession, they dominated the game. They got actually quite a well work uh, goal after Lucy Bronze uh, lost the ball, but you know, I think she had also bad positioning there, or she wasn't offered something to uh, pass to. Then uh, the ball came over to Carmona, who provided the overlap, and she scored the 1 0. At a tournament, she had one international goal and now she has a winner in a semi final and a final. Reminds me a teeny bit of Andy Bremer uh, from the Germany team in 1990, who also scored semi final goal in 86 and in 90, and then of course the World Cup winning goal in 1990. Parallelo also hit, I think, the outside of the post with a chance. Um, but it was really, I mean, Spain have the lead and then they do what Spanish teams do, they have the possession. And you don't see, see the ball. Also, Wichmann did not start Lauren James and instead Ella Toon. She made good on that and brought also on Chloe Kelly. Yes, uh, maybe she should have started from that. England got a little bit better in the game, but really could not get much going. And on top of that, they gave up a penalty that was then saved. Uh, an Hermosa penalty that was saved by Mary, Mary Erbs, who... She's a true goalkeeping personality, one has to say. Uh, Late on, you know, loads of stops of time for the penalty. There was many, many minutes that were probably unnecessary um, added on. Uh, England just couldn't come back into the game. I also want to... I was a little bit surprised about the jersey jersey match. I mean, I read it well ahead of the final that England will not play in white. I assume because the white only goes with the dark pants, so they want to. They didn't want to. Avo uh, they want to avoid white with the light blue. I, I think this would have worked better. I, I found England in the light, light blue, rather weird overall. And so yeah, um, Spain. I just heard uh, not only the women's senior championships, they also won at the under twenty one and the under nineteen. So they hold it on all uh, lower level categories, the world championship as well. So that is pretty amazing. They also won now the World Cup for men and women, like Germany did, and no other nation has done that so far. Another big achievement. Um, and, you know, they do this with some, uh, without some of the best players because of Jorge Wilder, their coach being actually quite under some criticism. So I find this a very interesting scenario. Uh, not to take away, England also had some misses, so kind of this was too 
I don't want to say B teams, but you know, uh, two teams that could have been even better playing that final. So uh, really, really cool. And I already said in my short video, Serena Wichmann uh, won two uh, Euro finals and then lost the subsequent World Cup finals. I would love it if she could win a World Cup final as well, but I, it might be a tough task. Uh, going ahead, but you know, who sees? I mean, the US men, uh, women are also looking for a coach. I think Serena Wichmann is going to stay in England and probably she won't win that one title. Because England is not good looking as they have been for most of the tournament. It was more like workmen like. They still got a really strong squad together. And I thought against Australia, they hit kind of their. Uh, their level and I really thought they will go on but so did Spain I mean that 4-0 against uh, Japan is really a freak result these days so yeah the World Cup ends Spain are the winners England are second Sweden are third so it's a clean sweep for the Europeans if you would like which also I don't think has ever happened uh, the tournament I think was overall a success I really got into it at the beginning it was a little bit tedious there were not many goals scored but in the end, yeah, it was kind of a mixture for me on the Mansa between the 2002 and the 2010 World Cup. But I think it was really enjoyable. Uh, many nations have caught up. It's great for the women's game and I cannot wait for uh, the next big tournament, which first will be the Euros and then we'll have another World Cup. I think we don't know the host for those yet. But please let, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye! Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!